Hey folks, my name is Mason. I'm a solutions engineer here with Prefect, and today we're going to run through a quick demo of the GraphQL API for Prefect 1.0 and the REST API that was introduced in Prefect 2.0. First, before we dive into that, I do want to discuss real quick just some of the changes and specifically why we made the shift to a REST API. First and foremost, the REST API is more common. More users are more familiar with it, thereby making it more accessible. And second, the GraphQL API is super heavy. It's a big part of why the Prefect server's image is as large as it is, uh, and it requires a lot of work to really interact with it. Whereas the REST API is far more lightweight, so thereby requiring less work to really interact with it and use it. With that, we'll go ahead and dive into this demo here. So we're just going in, setting up our client here for the GraphQL client. We're crafting our query here, which is just going to pull in the last five flow runs ordered by when they were created. And then we're going to go ahead and just print out those flow IDs and the uh, created timestamp for each of those. So we'll go ahead and run that so we can see that here hop over here. This is currently running in 2.0. Now a couple things that I want to point out before we run this is that first the client for the REST API is an asynchronous client, meaning that you have to await calls to the client in order for this to function correctly. Otherwise you're going to end up with coroutine object errors or any number of asynchronous error depending on how you have all this configured. A second is that what gets returned in the GraphQL API over here is essentially a, a list. This is a list of flow runs and then this is referencing a dictionary. You'll see here I'm just calling for the flow ID and the created timestamp. Now the reason for this is that what gets returned here is actually a schema or a list of schemas related to the flow runs that I'm pulling in here. And you can see here the syntax for this is also very different as we're, we're fitting more of this kind of standard Pythonic format where you have a limit that you can specify here as well as a sort order. Now the sort orders pulls from a schema up here as well. The number of different uh, values that you can sort on for these particular runs, you have the end time, you have the expected start time, the name, the ID, etc. So with that, we'll go ahead and run this. You can see we're pulling in all five of those flow IDs, as well as having them ordered in a descending order by when they completed. So that completes our demo here. If you have any questions or concerns, definitely feel free to reach out uh, to us on our community support channels or hit up our docs or discourse as there's a lot of great content there. Have a wonderful day.